Have you ever wondered just how far humans can push the limits of size and technology? Some machines are so large that they don't just move, they dominate landscapes, carry mountains of earth, and haul rockets taller than skyscrapers. These are not tools, they're giants. Today, we'll explore five of the largest moving machines ever built by humans, monsters of metal, weight, and power. These impressive pieces of technology really push the limits of engineering. And before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe to Brinery. It helps the channel grow so we can keep bringing you the world's most fascinating stories. The first of these amazing machines is the Bagger 293, the monster excavator. This machine looks like it was ripped straight out of a science fiction movie. This heavy bucket wheel excavator is nearly 100 meters tall and 225 meters long. It gets the number one position as the largest land vehicle in the world. To give a perspective, it's taller than the Statue of Liberty and longer than two football fields placed end to end. The Bagger 293 was built in Germany by a company named Takruf. It is equipped with huge rotating wheel with buckets that munches through the earth, scooping up tons of soil in one go. This single machine can move an astonishing 240,000 cubic meters of earth per day. That's enough material to fill over 90 Olympic-sized swimming pools every single day. When it's working, it doesn't just look like a machine, it looks like a moving city, crawling across the landscape on gigantic treads. With conveyor belts running like arteries and a control tower perched on top like the bridge of a spaceship, it's so massive that moving it from one mine to another can take weeks, requiring carefully planned paths across the countryside. Imagine standing next to this monster, hearing the hum of engines and the grinding of earth as it reshapes landscapes. It's a reminder of the sheer scale of modern industry. Number 2. The NASA's Crawler Transporter The rocket carrier. Let us leave the mines behind and look at a machine built to carry humanity's greatest ambition. The spaceflight. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, the Crawler Transporter is a machine unlike any other. It looks like a giant metal platform riding on four huge tracked treads. The crawler is 40 meters long, 35 meters wide, and weighs about 3,000 tons. But the numbers don't tell the whole story. Its job is to move fully assembled rockets and spacecraft, including the Saturn V rocket that took astronauts to the moon. To give a perspective, the Saturn V was 110 meters tall, the size of a skyscraper. Fully fueled, it weighed over 2,800 tons, and yet the crawler carried it slowly but steadily, from the vehicle assembly building to the launch pad. A distance of about 6 kilometers, it moves at less than 2 kilometers per hour. To us, that's barely walking speed but with a skyscraper strapped to its back, it's a miracle of precision. Engineers designed it with a leveling system so that the rocket stays perfectly vertical as it rides to the launch site. The crawler first rolled out in the 1960s for the Apollo missions. However, it's still in service today, carrying rockets for NASA's Artemis program, the project that aims to return humans to the moon. It's not flashy or fast, but when you see this colossal platform crawling forward, carrying humanity's ticket to the stars, it feels like watching history in motion. The next in our list is the Bellas 75710, the world's largest dump truck. Shifting gears from rockets to roads, this machine is truly a symbol of heavy duty. Though calling this next machine a truck may be an understatement, the Bellas was built in Belarus and holds the title as the largest dump truck in the world. This vehicle is so massive that a two-story house could fit in its truck bed. This beast can carry 450 metric tons in a single load. That's the weight of about 350 cars piled into one truck bed. The truck itself weighs 360 tons, powered by two 16-cylinder diesel engines, each producing 2,300 horsepower. Together, they drive eight giant wheels, each taller than a person. Standing next to the Bellas, you'd feel tiny. The tires alone are over four meters tall. Climbing into the driver's cab requires a staircase, and once you're up there, the ground feels like it's miles below. The Bellas isn't built for highways, it lives in giant mines, hauling ore and rock. It's like a giant building rolling down the road. And when fully loaded, its brakes, suspension, and engines all have to work in perfect harmony to keep it from shaking itself apart. The Bellas 75710 is proof of just how far humans will go when industry demands that bigger really is better. So far, we've seen giants that crawl across land, but what about machines that move across the ocean? Next oversized tech in our list is the Prelude FLNG, short for Floating Liquefied Natural Gas Platform, a floating giant. At 488 meters long, longer than four football fields, and with a displacement of over 600,000 tons, it is the largest floating structure ever built. It's not a ship in the traditional sense, it doesn't sail from port to port. 
Instead, it's towed slowly into position and anchored offshore, where it processes natural gas extracted from the seabed. Imagine a small city floating on the ocean, with massive tanks, towers, and industrial machinery all, designed to take gas, cool it to minus 162 degrees Celsius, and load it onto tankers for transport, even though it doesn't move often. When it does, the sight of this half-kilometer-long machine gliding across the waves is breathtaking. It dwarfs the ships around it and challenges your sense of scale, making even oil tankers look small by comparison. The prelude shows how engineering can take something as temporary as a floating vessel and turn it into a permanent industrial marvel. Finally, our final stop takes us to the skies. Here, one machine reigns supreme. The impressive Antonov AN-225, built in Ukraine in the 1980s. The AN-225 was the largest cargo aircraft ever built. Its wings stretched 84 meters, wider than a football field. Fully loaded, it could carry 250 tons of cargo, more than any plane in history. The Antonov-225 was originally designed to transport the Soviet Union's Buran space shuttle, and its cargo bay was so vast it could fit trains, industrial turbines, or even other airplanes. When it flew overhead, it didn't just sound like an aircraft it sounded like a thunderstorm. Watching it take off, straining under the weight of a world record load, was like seeing the laws of physics stretch to their limits. Only one Antonov-225 was ever completed. Tragically, it was destroyed in 2022 during the conflict in Ukraine but its legacy as the ultimate flying machine remains unmatched. To this day, aviation fans and engineers alike remember it not just as a plane, but as a symbol of human ambition and ingenuity. So there you have it. Five of the largest moving machines ever built. From earth-digging giants, to rocket carriers, megatrucks, floating platforms, and flying legends. Which of these giants have you heard of? Let me know in the comments which one's your favorite. Share this video with someone who loves a large piece of tech, and would enjoy learning about these incredible machines. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Brainery for more hidden stories of the world's biggest and boldest creations.